mean, I don't want to get rid of all of it. It's good to have a couple trees, but as you can see, we have a wide selection. Got that. Yeah, if we earn up 500 wood, we can get to that one spot, but there's there's lots of progress to be made. There's like This game, like I said, is intimidatingly long. How do I, isn't, is there a way to get a seed out of that? I can't remember. Either way, doesn't matter too much. I probably shouldn't be using the ax for that. That's a waste of energy. But I got more of a section over here cleared out, which is great. Uh, I'll get rid of this little tree and then I think we'll be good. I don't know how much I can afford when it comes to parsons. Ooh, we got mail. What is our mail? Advertisement. I keep finding cool stuff, but my backpack is full. Does this sound like you? Well, Pierre's got you covered. Stop by Pierre's General Store today and check out our affordable size 24 backpack. See you soon. That's what we need, so we're actually gonna try to get that. Oh, do we have more mail? Ooh, look at me, Mr. Popular. Hello there, just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for you, Willie. Okay. Willie's being so generous, I don't even know the guy. Oh, we got another one of these. We got more, more leaks, I think they're called, but I don't have enough inventory space for them. I gotta sell stuff then. I mean, I know that like, one of my biggest frustrations with this game is that Pierre closes at like 2 p.m. and he acts like he's working so hard all the time and he just like closes the shop right away. I don't know. Well, let me just sell some stuff first. Oh wait, you're, no, you're a new character. I don't think I talked to you. Maru, oh, aren't you who one who, aren't you the one who just moved in? I'm Maru, I've been looking forward to meeting you. Oh, well, I probably should. <laughs> yeah, nice, God, goodbye. You know, with a small town like this, a new face really can alter the community dynamic. It's exciting. That's all you can say. Okay, thanks for letting me know. Uh, hello, it's Farmer Zebra. Yeah, it's me. How you doing? I need to talk to you for real, though. I don't think what I've been doing really counts. I can give you the sap. How much? Okay, so where's the backpack? Is that here? Oh, no, 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 it's here. Backpack, 24 slots, 2,000. Yikes, not now. Um, I don't know what I'm gonna do with the clam then. Maybe we should break open this geode as well. What is it, what is this little, the exclamation point so tiny, so easy to mess. I'm looking for someone to bring me 20 copper ores to see if any rare gems are hidden inside. Clint, 200 geode delivery. You can keep the ores after Clint expects them and inspects them. Okay, I guess I'll accept that. I don't have anything to lose from it, right? Unless I can't take any more quests, which will be a pain because I have no idea where to get copper ore for the moment. Well, is this a cemetery? That's so sad. Oh my gosh. Can I go in here? I haven't, I definitely haven't. No, no, it's, it's Mayor Lewis. Hey there. So, how was your first night in the old cottage? There were ghosts, they haunted me. Your grandpa used to complain about the rickety old bed, but I think deep down he actually loved that house. Is that why he had a bad back all those years? Man, he could have just bought him a new bed. Uh. So we haven't been to some of the buildings up here. Oh, hey, you have a football. Oh, hey, so you're the new guy, huh? Cool. I'll see you around. <laughs> he does not want to see me. Maybe he's just bad in social situations. Oh, hey, he's a new character. No, you're not new. Don't mind my husband, George. He isn't very friendly to strangers. Well, you are very friendly, so you make up for it. If you want to get to know him better, he'll warm up to you. Okay. Hello. Hmm. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Yeah, this sort of is. Name's George, by the way. Now buzz off. Mm. All right, see ya. I wish I, you don't even have a TV stand. I don't know why is it so far out in the room. It's supposed to be a hazard to trip over that cable. And then what about in the little uh, mobile home here? There is somebody. Hi. Hey, kid. Name's Pam. Hi. Don't be a jerk and we'll get along fine. All right, see ya, Pam. So who else haven't we met? We've met a lot of people at this point. To the beach, oh yeah, that's right, we need to meet Willie. Gathering, yeah, that's the one I, okay. Getting started, cultivate and harvest a parsnip, that'll happen eventually. I still need to meet 11 more people. Yeesh, where are all these people? I mean, this town is bigger than it looks. Look at Louis farming it up. So he, he's able to farm too. Not the only one around here. Everyone's like, it's so nice to see a farmer. Well, you got one already in Lewis. You just doubted him. Oh, hey, it's Willie. I guess, I would imagine. I mean, it's some kind of cutscene. Ahoy there, son. Heard there was a newcomer in town. Good to finally meet you. Yeah? Oh no, 
Virus of protection. No, I don't need virus protection. Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from this, from a month out in the salty seas. Can I get rid of this? Good, goodbye, Windows. I don't want virus protection. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved up enough to buy me a new rod. Oh, yeah? Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive, and hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. All right, sure. I get the fishing rod, yay. You received the bamboo pole. Pretty cool. There's a good water in here, or there's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what my old pappy used to say anyways. Oh, old pappy. I used to have an old pappy, and then he gave me an envelope and I ended up here. Does he have more? He's gonna tell me some of his old sea tales, no? So I can fish now. Cool. Oh. I don't know how to fish, I forget. Maybe I'll get a bite and I'll just spam the button. Is it like Animal Crossing? Uh. Do I have to find a bubbly spot? I forget. I might have to find a bubbly spot. I only have like one extra second. No. Okay, so maybe I do have to find a bubbly spot. I don't see any that are all bubbly around here, but I mean, maybe I'm just unlucky. Oh, the music's kicking in. Oh, here we go, I got a hit. Oh, oh, I remember this. I hated this. I hated this so much. You gotta tap it, but not too much. You gotta keep the fish in the middle of the green. And it's just so difficult, especially on on mouse and keyboard. Got it, yeah, look at me. Anchovy length, one inch. Uh, I don't know what to do with this. What was this again? This is a coal. Uh, you know what, I'm gonna get rid of the clam. I need to clear out my inventory for sure. Uh, no, I do not want to fish out of the door. <laughs> okay, no, I am so bad with the controls right now. Hey dude, how you doing? I can't talk to you right now, though. All right. Well, what do you have to sell again? Bamboo pole for 500. I don't want to buy that because I already have one. Or I don't want to buy another one. Trout soup. I don't know what I should. I feel like I need to save these for something. Well, yeah, I think there is stuff to save up for. So for now, I got to find out if there's like a place I can put this stuff. Like a chest somewhere. Ooh, there's a bubbly spot, but I don't have any inventory for it anyways. Hmm. Oh, what is that? I need to. Oh, man, there's so much to do. How am I gonna earn up that much cash, though? I might just wanna slave away for a while. Slave away and try to earn up as much as possible. You want soup? Well, if you get soup, I hope you do, and you enjoy it. Personally, I always just want pizza. Oh, boy. Well, I can go to you, right? I think you're the one I can drop the geodes off to. Uh, uh go on through. Hello, sir. Shop, upgrade tools, process geodes. Uh, process geodes. Uh, just place the geodes on my anvil and I'll give them a whack. The price is 25G per geode. Well, hopefully this is worth it because I don't have too much money to throw around right now. Uh, Clint's quality anvil it's made from, I know. I, I know. What? I know, put it down. You dingus, what? Can I give it to you? Process geodes. Just place your geodes on my anvil. Maybe I have to do it when I'm not holding anything. What? I don't understand. It doesn't work. Clint, it's broken. Fix your anvil. It, it seriously does not work. All right, well, let me go down here. Pizza is indeed the best. So let us uh, go back to uh, the farm for now. I, I have to be able to get like a, oh, you're new. You're Super Saiyan. Hello. Hey, I'm Sam, good to meet you. Good to meet you too. Uh, that, That's all you have to say. And I don't know how good it is if you don't want to carry a conversation. Then we met everybody around you. I mean, there's nobody in the house. It feels weird when you're the only person in a house that isn't yours. Like you feel like you just don't belong, which is mostly true. Okay, yeah, not too much going on around here. Well, the amount of people we're meeting is going up, which is good. 
Uh... Nope, that's locked. So I think there's still plenty of more people to meet. I'm just sort of looking around. I know, yeah, there's a wizard who lives here. I wonder if that's one of the 28 people we need to meet. Probably, which stinks. So this lady has cows, which is adorable. Uh, it doesn't look like she's home, so I'm not gonna be in her home. Also, doesn't it seem like an incredible fire hazard to have all this hay around the fire? I'm just gonna judge you really quick while you're not at your own house. <laughs> all right, so let's go back north and see what we can find. Because hopefully we can either, oh yeah, this is our farm now. Can I even make my way back from here? I might not actually be able to make my way back. It might be a bit difficult. But I'm gonna try my best. Got it. Okay. So I should be able to make my way back. I mean, I don't need to cut through this stuff to walk through it, but it might as well from here. See, I gotta put a lot of the, a lot of the stuff I have in my chest or something. Uh, the anchovy, like I'll just, like I'll deposit a lot of this stuff. Like obviously, I don't get to keep it when I do that, but I mean, what else can I do with it right now, right? Because I definitely wanna, like, wanna keep the wood over time, but I would also really like to have more than two inventory slots. I'll have to see. Because I don't think, I, like, like if I put something on the, on the table. <laughs> My mantle, which is an egg, a stone egg from the ancient stone times when there were stone beasts and stone birds. Okay, so let me go back to the shop then. No, Pierre's closed at 4.30. <laughs> Good old Pierre, can't stay open for more than five minutes. I don't know if you can put stuff on the floor without it going away after a little while. Well, we're gonna find out, because I wanna put that stuff on the floor as well. I mean, I know we can eat food as well, like if, if like I just pull this out. He's just like, <laughs> I like how he looks at the camera, he's like, hey, can I eat this? Yeah, sure. Yeah, um, thanks. Well, that gave me plus 40 energy. Well, if I'm gonna go to bed, then I might as well use up my energy, because I think no matter what, you get restored to full. So, today, I could fill up as much of this as I possibly can, and then next time, try not to mess this up, I'm trying to make it all symmetrical, and I'm really ruining it. There we go. But uh, I'll try to get all this down there. That way we can restore energy, then buy as many parsnips as I can tomorrow while he's actually open. Because Pierre is a bit lazy. <laughs> I mean, I, don't, I think the only reason I think that is because I think there's some point in the story where he's like talking about Joe Chamart taking him out of business, but he also only works nine to four. There we go. Let's, uh, there we go. So that should be good, we're really low on energy now, so it might just be good to hit the hay nice and early, 6, 10 p.m. Wake up early in the morning as well, and hopefully that'll be good. Go to sleep, yep. Okay, so we're making some decent progress. I mean, I'm not incredibly efficient at this game, so I'm sure that th some things will go better than others, but we made 45, yeah. Okay, day three. Your progress has been saved. So, I still need to figure out what the heck to do with the geodes. I really don't know why that wasn't working. Oh, that's right, it's gonna rain all day today. That's not fun. Well, it should be fine. If I sell some of the stuff I have, whatever he'll buy, so I guess just the leak, and then I buy a bunch of parsnips, I can plant those, sell them, and repeat the cycle until I make enough money to thrive. And that's the dream, right? Oh yeah, there's some other things we still need to check out. So I might as well check those out as well. I mean, it's still pretty early in the morning. We just gotta make sure we get to Pierre's by four. As long as we can do that, we'll be just fine. Maybe we could travel north today as well. Um, let's read that. Trying to keep the art of fishing alive, I'll pay 90G to any fisherman who catches three sunfish. Good luck, Willie, 90G reward. Get to keep the fish. Uh, do I get to do more than one? I sure hope so. Oh, you do, cool. They just, they, they end eventually though. Okay, so uh, let's go north then. I wanted to check out the town hall because I know that's up here. Like, if we take a look at the map, there's plenty left we haven't explored on like this section. I feel like there's some buildings maybe we haven't gone into. Oh wow, they have like little addresses too. I didn't notice that. One Willow Lane, 
One River Road. Oh, that's super cute. I mean, not all of them do, weirdly enough. I, I never really noticed that. And there's like stuff over here. Weird. Okay. Let's pick up that. And can we go inside? It's locked. Oh, no, we can't go inside. Well, never mind. But we haven't been up here no matter what. So we might as well go up here, see what characters we can meet. It seems like most of them are in their homes, obviously enough, because it's raining. Why would they want to be out? Hello, hello. It's locked. Open 9 a.m. Oh, these guys aren't open yet. They, they're open way later. I think that's where uh, the carpenter lives. I already forget her name. I can't pick this up. All right, then. Well, I'm going to pick this up. I have two of the daffodil. Zero energy. Does it zero out my energy or just doesn't do anything? I got more clay as well. Okay. Well, if I'm out of options, I'm out of options. I want to go south. And I'm just going to sell stuff. Really weird. Yeah, it's, I didn't remember it being so difficult to earn up so much inventory at first, but... I mean, I guess our best bet right now would just to be using all of our money to buy as many parts of sneeze or whatever seeds we can get. I said sneed again. It's not a word. We went into all of these houses, so we're fine there. Oh, you're new? I don't remember you at all. Shane, oh, you look angry. Huh, <laughs> this weather makes me thirsty. Oh, well, nice to meet you as well. Close on, it's Wednesday. You can never rely on Pierre. <laughs> oh gosh, come on. We can make Sneed a word for me, thank you. I, I really Sneeded that. I'm just gonna leave everything on the floor and see if it disappears. I wouldn't imagine it would, but at the same time. Bus stop, Pelican Town, okay. And some of that can drop into here. I didn't wanna drop all of it, because I figured it would make me more money. Well, I it dropped it all. Can I just drop one in? There you go. Because I know I'm gonna need this stuff later, you know? It's just, why has it gotta be Wednesday? I can't even take off on Thursday. So let me just, no, I don't wanna eat it. I just wanna place stuff down. You can't place things on the floor though. Ah. So I can't place anything down right now. I gotta, I gotta eat this daffodil. That was a dumb idea. <laughs> sure to just sold it. <laughs> okay, well I got plenty of learning to do then. I'm gonna sell this clay. I don't think I wanna sell this stuff yet. I mean, I can just keep working throughout the rain. I don't. I hope I won't get hit by a lightning bolt. But we could also uh, go and meet other people. I mean, hmm. I don't remember this area up here. It's a question mark for now. So, yeah, I definitely have it up there. We haven't traveled up this part or the uh, wizard, but I, I don't think I'll be able to do both in one day. I mean, it's still 10 a.m., so we have plenty of time. Uh, oh, I think that's where we put our, our pet. I mean, I wish we could let our pet inside of our own home. Oh yeah, there's a couple things over here. So there's still more we can explore. Let me slice and dice that, get that. Cause I think there's something over here as well. Uh, Let me just check this out really quickly. Get through that. I know I shouldn't be using the pickaxe for all of this. Let me get rid of this tree. Cause yeah, there's like a little note here, you see that? So what in the world does this say? Timber! Well, that was a lot more wood. He did it. So what is it? What in the world is this? We got... Zebra, wait for my return on the dawn of your third year. What? The dawn of your third... Grandpa? Grandpa, what, what... Are you alive? Grandpa? He's somewhere out there. Nothing's in here, though. That was weird. I forgot that that was what it said. I'm a little surprised. Grandpa's still kicking. I mean, I guess it never showed him dying. Maybe that was all an act and he's actually an under, undercover agent. And he's gonna reveal all of his secrets on the third year, which is a long time from now, by the way. We're only three days in. Uh, Railroad up there. Well, I guess, oh, yeah, it, it's, it's all covered up. I don't know how to get up there. Oh, there's a tent too. Maybe I can go in there. I'm, I'm getting a little wet out here in the rain. Hello. A stranger. Hello. Hi. 
don't mind me. I just live out here alone. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry to hear that. Have a good day. All right, these guys down here should be open now. It was at 11 a.m.? Even then, it's noon, so we got some seeds. Oh, I could plant those, that'd be perfect. I can't pick that up, because I don't have any inventory space. This is really getting tough without the inventory space, I'll tell you that much. Okay, are you guys open? Hey, oh, okay, so this is where Mar Maru lives. I've already talked to you, but I'll talk to you again. Have you met everyone in town yet? That sounds exhausting. I know, right? It's like they know that it's a silly thing to do. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, I work at the Harvey's Clinic. He says he likes having me around in case his medical equipment goes high haywire. Okay, so I can give these guys things, I gotta remember. I don't know who I wanna, what I wanna give to who. Uh, greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. No problem, Demetrius. I'm studying the local plants and animals from my home laboratory. Have you met my daughter, Maru? She's interested to meet you. Yeah, I have. I'm glad she takes so much of an interest. Would you like a piece of coal? Have you been a good boy this year? Let's let you decide, Demetrius. Uh, what is this? Oh, he did not like it. He is not happy. Sorry, Demetrius, don't mean to. Oh, hey, who are you? Let me in? Come on there, dude, I just wanna say hi, what game you playing? You got two computers, I got two computers. We're already getting along great. Just let me in, please. No, nobody likes me. Hey, would you like some sap? No, yuck, I thought I would, you thought I would like this? Okay, I, I'm not very well connecting with people so far. <laughs> I can just imagine. Just like my hand is just, like my character's hand is just covered in goopy sap, and I'm like, take it. They're like, no. I don't know, that's just funny. Okay, so, uh, I don't know if we're gonna be able to talk to too many other people. I would love to get the stinking dude my geode, but he wouldn't take it. I mean, I obeyed his instructions. His instructions weren't good enough for even him. So is it really, who else do I need to talk to? How many people are getting started? Got it. Introductions, 22 out of 28, six more people. That still feels like a ton. I mean, if we count a wizard, that's one. Because there is like a wizard dude. Uh, okay, well then we'll skedaddle. Because if there ain't no more, I mean, I, the one kid who is in the basement, there's two. I might want to visit some houses now while I have the opportunity because the higher of a chance they'll be home. But even then, oh, you know what? We should check the saloon again. Oh, we haven't talked to you. You're new. So there's three out of the six that we know of. Hey, well now it's gonna be five. Oh, you're that new farmer boy, aren't you? Yeah. Huh? Oh, I'm Haley. Well, nice to meet you, Haley. Hmm, if it weren't for those horrendous clothes, you might actually be cute. Well, 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 thanks, I, I really appreciate it. Let us go down here. Oh, so we've gone into this house as well. Have we, have we met everybody here? What, did you say? It's 3.20 p.m. already, goodness. <laughs> yeah, I come into your house as a lecture you about what time it is. I still have tons of work to do. What about you, do you have any work to do? I wanna look for bugs, but mom gets mad when I'm all dirty. It's a tough choice. Okay, well, have fun with that. I'm just trying to find these new characters. It's really tough. Uh, hmm. I've talked to you for sure. You're Emily. Oh, oh hold on. It never rains in Coleco Desert. That's where my friend Sandy lives. Oh, okay. Nice to know. I wish I could have visited her today. Oh, you really don't like the rain, do you? So I'll go to the saloon really quickly. And we'll see what we find in there. Okay, so... Yeah, I really don't know what we want to do for the rest of the night. Community center we still can't get into. Oh, I guess it was like a little playground there. Oh, be right back, bye zebra. Oh, I get it. Okay, I messed around it. I missed the bye. So, I mean, at this point, if there's nothing more we can spend our time on, then we might as well, yeah, I mean, I don't remember this game having such a slow start, but I guess they give it a slow start because there's a lot to sort of figure out on how the heck to play the game. So that's why they give you room to sort of figure it out. But man, I just, I don't know why they would make Pierre take a day off on the third day of the game. 
And that just seems, sort of seems silly. But uh, in the meantime, we still, like, there's always something to do. You can always chop down a couple trees, do all that. Oh, are we still in the beer? I'm such a dingus, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm the biggest dingus of all time. There you go. <laughs> there we go, I'm so sorry. Uh, well, like I said, we're just chopping, we're not, we're all in the action-packed gameplay like you said. Watch me as I destroy this rock. Oh, 10 out of 10 destruction. That is one for the record books. Down with the tree. Everyone will remember me taking down that one tree. Remember when took it, you ever took down that tree? That was classic. Okay. Also gonna remember these little pieces right here that are like sort of just ever so peeking out. Also count. Like, you can't plan anything over those unless you get them. Easy to miss and stuff. So we're just gonna use it the rest of our energy as much as I can. And then we'll be, uh, good. There's a reason why the farmer's called Dingus Farm, yep. <laughs> Whoa, what was that noise? That was like a, like a moo. I swear I just heard like a moo. I don't know how I feel about that. Uh, yeah, I'm really weirded out by that. Why, why was there a moo? I don't have no cows, unless there's like a cow stuck in one of these trees. Then I, I gotta knock them all down, I gotta save the cow. Which one is he in? It's 7 p.m. though, so we're almost getting there. Also, I need to plant this mystery seed. It's mixed seed, so there's a little bit of everything here. Plant them and see what it grows. That sounds like fun. Okay, let's go ahead and get that. How much do I like Super Mario Odyssey? I loved it. That's why I played it 100%. Okay, so, oh, we got more mixed seeds. So it seems to pop out from the grass. So I'll put those there and go through like this. And I think we'll just, I mean, we got a little bit more energy to spend. We might as well. If we restore to full, we gotta make the most of every situation. Oh, there you go. I'm down with these. I think if we knock down this tree and the other one, we'll be fine. Seeing that energy bar just go lower and lower though. It gets really dark. I know that if we stay out for too long, we eventually pass out and that's just hilarious. But uh, not something I wanna deal with because sometimes you can lose items because people are jerks apparently. Everybody wants to be your friend in Stardew Valley when you're awake, but when you're unconscious, that's when they snag a couple things from you. Okay. Oh gosh, we are really low on energy, 11 out of 27. So got everything I needed there. I'm gonna run all the way back and go to, go to bed. Just hit that hay and see what pops up tomorrow. Ooh. Go to sleep for the night? Of course. Level up. Oh, hey, I forgot. You level up. Level one foraging. Plus one axe proficiency. Trees sometimes drop seeds. New crafting recipe. Wild seeds SP. And then new crafting recipe feels like, oh, yeah, crafting. Okay, there's a lot to this game. It's going to take me a while to get back up to speed. But uh, we got a leak and a daffodil. Then also some clay. 190 coins, better than nothing. Okay, day four. Hmm. Oh, I love the music. So, let us get up here and check out the TV. No, nope, I always want to pick up the TV. Morning wor wor workout routine, let's just pick up the TV. Well, it goes of five, number one source for weather and everything else, I don't care, it's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Cool. Fortune telling. Welcome back to the Wellworks Oracle, where you can seek your fortune and talk about other things. The spirit are somewhat, somewhat mildly perturbed today. Luck will not be on your side. Living off the land. Welcome to living off the land. We're back again with another tip for you all. Now listen up. This one's for you folks living in Stardew Valley. Check for spring onions south of the town. Where the river meets the ocean, you can sometimes find a whole bunch growing right out of the dirt. Southwest of town. I guess like down here? I don't know, well, I mean, we gotta go down that way anyways because we need to find the wizard, but I really, oh, hey, look at these, they are growing in. I am gonna go and get more parsnips needs. As a sneeze, I will never not say that. Why is that a tongue twister? That is not a tongue twister for any other person on the planet, but it is for me. Well, I guess I'm just my own brand of special. I'm not gonna get uh, the fish, by the way. I don't think we're gonna. Ha that's gonna happen in time, but let me, uh, it's locked. Oh my gosh. Never in proper timing for Pierre. Well, then I might as well fish if I don't got anything else to do. 
So there's gonna be a point in time where I'm gonna need a lot of different things. But it'd be useful to have money for the inventory slots for those things, so we'll have to see. But we're gonna go southwest and check that out. Oh no, we've talked to you. I was gonna say, oh hey, you're new. You're not. You're gonna hate with an axe. <laughs> what do you want? Leave me alone! Uh, would you like a rock? I don't really like this. You don't seem to like anything. Well, I'm not making any friends so far, I can say that much. I, mean, I don't have anything worth giving, to be honest. Uh, let's go down here. Uh, and let's see what we can find. A whole bunch of nothing so far. Was well, this one of the onions you're talking about? I think so. Wild horseradish. Oh, look at this. Is this what we're talking? Spring onions, hey. Free crops to sell. Inventory full. No, wait. No, it's not. It's telling me my inventory is full, but that's clearly not the case. Weird. Okay. Well, I get free stuff no matter what. I don't care. I hope nobody actually grew these. If so, I feel bad. But it, yeah, it really wants me to think that my inventory is full when it's not. Okay. Got that. There's a sewer. Oh, this is where the sewer leads. Ew. Droopy. Uh, I don't see too much else going around here, but we'll check the other side of the river just in case because 33 free spring onions, I'll take it, you know? I don't see too much more around here, but I'm glad I checked. Oh, hey. Oh, no, this is, okay, this is all broken down. I was like, who, whose house is this? Uh, it looks abandoned. All right, well, maybe we can have a second house. It even has a garage. How nice is that? I mean, I don't like the placement of the garage. It seems like you just drive right off the cliff. Oh wow, what is this too? I don't know. You can open that up that at some point. It doesn't even tell you what's over there, so I actually have no clue. Do, 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 do. Oh hey, that's new tune. I don't have any room to pick it up, I don't think, so. Yeah, we'll leave it be. Uh oh, there's another horseradish. I'll pick up whatever I already have picked up. That way we're stacking up as much as possible. So horseradish, you're mine. Oh, I see another one in right here. Got it, got it. So yeah, there should be the wizard, and I definitely wanna get him, or at least talk to him if you can. I mean, it might be locked, which would be silly, which means this quest is gonna take me longer than I thought to accomplish, but it's 10 a.m., so, uh, what's his face? It's locked, you can hear someone inside, though. Well, never mind. Maybe I should just knock his door down. I gotta meet everybody, even if they don't wanna see me. I'm a dangerous, dangerous farmer. So what else is there? I feel like there was something up here. I can't remember. I mean, eventually the game will tell you about all of it, I imagine. But sometimes I feel like you find characters around here, just walking around. So hopefully we can find this. But we're, we're at almost 900 coins. So you think that maybe pretty soon we can end up getting uh, more cash pretty easily. All I need to do is sell all these onions and I'm sure that would help, right? I don't think we need the onions for anything else. I didn't even know spring onions were in this game. These grow wild during the spring. Well, I'm glad I watched the TV. Oh, who are you? You're new for sure as well. Penny, we're very lucky to have a library in such a small town. When you're lost in a book, it's easy to forget about the realities of your life. Maybe that's why I like reading so much. Oh, do you not like your life? I feel that, sorry, I got carried away there. Oh, well, you talk a lot comparatively to some of the other characters. Like, you, you talked a lot too. I've decided I'm going to organize my clothes today. I'll have to throw out all last year's styles to make room for the new ones. If you say so. Hey, I mean, I'll take them, I'll sell them, I'll do anything for money at this point. Well, not, okay. <laughs> Let us uh, go and sell stuff to Pierre. Let's sell the stuff we have before we offer to get more things to sell, huh? It's Farmer Zebra, yeah, that's me. Why can't you just call me Zebra? Why can't I be my own person? Why I gotta be a farmer? I didn't ask for this life, this life chose me. So I can sell them all for a good chunk of cash. That's almost it right there. How much is it? 2,000, never mind, I thought it was 1,200. <laughs> we got a lot more to go then. Well, with my bunches of cash now, I could buy more stuff. 150, tempting. Uh, four days to mature, 12 days, six days, six days. So the quickest thing, the quickest return that we can get is definitely the parsnips, so I'm just gonna buy like another 20. All right, see you, dude. Well, I'm having fun so far. You know, it's a slow beginning for this game, but once you get into the grind of it, there's a, quite a grind, so. We'll surely be getting there sooner or later. 
Okay, well... We've read the sign, we don't need to read the sign again. And... Let's get to planning these. So I, I need to sort of clean this area out. I forgot how quickly all this stuff disappears, so I'm gonna quickly... Do that. And there we go. I also need to water everything, but we have the time and energy to do that, so it'll be fine. But for now, plant, 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 plant. So bunches of parsnips more than anything, but we'll we'll make it a little bit different later. I know eventually we'll want sprinklers, and that'll be a bit more of a complicated thing, but it'll be worth our while because it'll be a lot more productive. So I'll use all the water I have before I refill more. It's because I think even like refilling water takes up energy. We even need to water up the ones that are almost good. Like these parsnips, I think tomorrow they'll be done. Because tomorrow will be the fourth day. Yeah, I guess we wake up on day two. I mean, I guess the day you plant them doesn't count as a day, so it takes them four days to mature after that. Does that make sense? So yeah, these guys aren't gonna be done until I guess like the eighth or the ninth. So we have a lot of time ahead of us then. Even though we're getting past the days quicker and quicker, just because we're sort of just making it more formulaic. Got it, got it. I mean, this makes farming seem so nice because it seems so peaceful, but uh, farming's a lot of hard work in reality. Okay, there's all that done. I don't know if we should chop more stuff down. I mean, at this point, oh, hey, look at the woodpecker. Beautiful, beautiful. Can I just go into the bus? Can I go home? I can water the bus. <laughs> this bus doesn't look like it's growing correct. I need to water this thing. Dandelion. Not the prettiest flower, but leaves... Wait, what, what does it say? But the leaves make a good salad. Interesting. Also, let's check out our crafting stuff. So we can craft... Oh, yeah, we can craft a chest. I'm the biggest dingus. I didn't know we could craft a chest already. I thought that was something we had to unlock. So let me go and do that now. How many people have been yelling at their screens about that? Huh. So let's go back through here. And water the front door. Let me go like this, craft, craft a chest. No, that's not how I do it. Do that. Ah. Is that, did I put that on the floor? I think, no, I didn't. Or do I have more than one chest? I am so confused. I guess I made more than one chest. And they're lopsided. Well, I can put stuff in here now. Perfect. Put all that. I don't want to do that. So all the stuff that stacks up, I'm gonna put here. Oh, and we can change the color of the chest? Oh, that's perfect. I'm gonna make this one a nice brown. I mean, it's already brown, but now it's red. How do I change it back? There you go, nice brown. And then this will be my other thing. So green, we're gonna make that one green. I didn't know you could do that. I'm learning a bunch already. I wish I could move it, but organize. Okay, so there is an organize button. I gotta organize my one item. Cool. I don't know what I'll do with the geode, but for now, I don't want to break my chest. That would be awful. Let us continue with other things then. Now I have more inventory to actually pick things up. What I actually wanted to check out check out in the crafting menu though is the field snack. I feel like that, I remember that being a really helpful one for building up energy for when I'm running out really quickly. We can also make other things like wild seeds. Um, if we have, oh, one of each. So I guess if I had wild seeds, I could grow those at any point that I need them. I don't get to control which one I get though. Ah. So when we wake up tomorrow, we'll be having a nice day because we'll be able to sell all of our parsnips. We already have just under a thousand. So like a thousand coins, not a thousand parsnips. That'd be much better. Maybe I could spend some time fishing then. I'm not that great at fishing, but it might be better now that, you know, the TV lady said our luck is high. I'm not really sure exactly what that affects, but maybe it affects that. Who knows? So I'm gonna go fishing for a little bit. I think that sunfish seemed like they'd be more likely to be in the sea, but honestly, I don't know. Oh, okay, and there's more of these things, so pick up that. That is a oyster. Down here we have a, this thing is still sitting here, awesome. That was a cockle, a common saltwater clam, and then, and then oyster constantly filters water to find food. In the process, it removes dangerous toxins from the environment. I love all these descriptions, they're nice. I'm learning. I might want to do that again. Whoop. Yeah, okay. Oh, hey, there's Willy. Hi, Willy. Are you gonna, no, don't you. Oh, now we're competing. You're gonna steal my fish? I'm gonna be the best fisher you've ever darn seen. 
if I can catch anything. One of these days, Willie. One of these days. Oh, oh, hey! Oh, Willie, you're distracting. That's on blend down. That's a fault on you, Willie. I gotta listen for that little button press. Oh, yeah, okay, I got it this time. All right, we got a, we got a big one, Willie. You're gonna be so jealous when I pull this baby out of the water. Oh, it's huge. It's huge. I can feel it pulling. This thing's gotta be at least 20 pounds, Willie. You're gonna be so jealous. Oh, it's it's taking a nap at the bottom of the ocean, and we got it. It is a massive one inch. Well, uh, you know, I'm pretty happy with it. I'm sure he had a great personality, and I'm gonna fish right next to him. I'm gonna fish right next to him. Who's gonna get the fish first, Willie? Huh? Is it gonna be me or you? Ooh, come on. I wonder if he could like actually get annoyed from me from doing this. Oh, okay. This is actually really easy. I mean, maybe there's this easy, easier fish at this time of the year. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, okay. We got another sardine. We're really, we're really stacking up the star sardines right now. I mean, this is always a fun one to spend it though, just because it's exciting to see what you get. I mean, I really like fishing in games like Animal Crossing. It's usually like my go-to, because in Animal Crossing you have like the fishing and the net catching, or, like the bug catching and all that kind of stuff. But there were several different ways you can make your money. And I always went for fishing. Fishing was always the thing that made me the most. Okay, so it is starting to get late. Who's gonna get this final catch of the day, Willie? Is it gonna be me or is it gonna be you? He just, he's as cold as a, a rock right now. He just does not move until that fish bites. Luckily my, my uh, oh! Treasure! Wait, 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 wait. Treasure! I got treasure! No! My treasure! Oh, that stinks. Fishing is great fun in games. Yeah, I agree. There's a lot of fun fishing in games. Even in Jack and Daxter. All right, I'm gonna fish one more time. I could have gotten treasure. That stinks. I guess I gotta catch the fish and the treasure, which is very difficult. Oh. I got seaweed, yeah. Seaweed, Willie. You didn't get no seaweed. I'm out of here. I won. Is there anything over here? No. If I get 500 wood, though, I can go to the mystery area. Ooh. I mean, I think there's a lot of things you can use wood for, especially the carpenter lady. Like, you can expand your house. I think you need carpenting and a lot of money, though. I would figured there'd be like a... Oh, I didn't want to fish out of the trash. I don't know what I just did to the trash there. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of people here now. I've talked to you. Yeah, you're the, you're the blacksmith. Uh, hi, I'm Clint. Have I not? I'm the town blacksmith of the... Oh, I, I didn't actually have a real conversation with you. So what does that leave me at now? No, not the one. Introductions. Just three more people. I know one of those is the kid. Hey, there's an arcade. Can I play these? Journey of the Prairie King. Look at this, I could actually play this. Oh. All right, I'm, I'm a rootin' tootin' cowboy right now. Oh my, coffee, coffee and coins, coffee and coins. Oh, it's an item. It's on the on the left over there. <laughs> this is real. Okay, this is cool, I like this. I, I don't feel very good at it right now. <laughs> okay, the rest of the playthrough is just gonna be me playing this game instead. What do you do with the coins? Maybe like between levels you can do something? Oh, you can even shoot diagonally, awesome. So, use that, maybe that makes me move faster. Probably, oh, you got me! <laughs> now that is a tough, tough game right there. Don't make them like they used to. What about this one? No, what about this one? There's a skull-shaped keyhole. Oh, no, I don't wanna fish. I wanted to see, buy a judge at 75, that is overpriced. Well, I'm out of here. Say ya, I've talked to all of you. Well, I've talked to you all in the past. Don't need to talk to you now then. 9 p.m. It's getting late. We need to we need to take it take a nap. So that's exactly what we're gonna go do. Slowly but surely. <laughs> but yeah, this has been a great start. I mean we're about what, an hour and twenty minutes in almost to the game. Takes a lot of effort to make some progress, but that's fine. These boys are gonna be all grown up when we wake up! I'm so excited for that. Uh, maybe we could put some of this in the chest for now, just so that I don't need it now. 
I might need, I need a little bit of everything. I'm only going to assume, right? Like maybe at some point there's gonna be a quest when we wake up where somebody's gonna need two sardines. Well, we're gonna have those sardines, right? Well, I mean, they might be like a year or two uh, rotten, which will be gross, but hey, parsnips and mail. Hey, journal updated. I'm so happy then. Why didn't this one grow? I don't know why that one's a day behind, but you know what? I'll take care of him nonetheless. He's still my baby. So what does this mail have to say? To our valued Jojamar customers, our team members have removed the landslide caused by our drilling operation near the mountain lake. I'd like to remind you that our drilling operation is entirely legal, pursuant to initiate uh, L61091 Jojico Amendment. A responsible stewardship of the local environment is our top priority. We apologize for any inconvenience this accident may have caused. As always, we value your continued support and patronage. <laughs> Morris and Jojo customer satisfaction represent. Oh, he was a creepy guy. Is that it? That's it. Uh. So I don't want to. I don't think I want to sell those there. I don't know how much they sell for, but I think that dude man will buy them for more. Pierre, you can only hope, right? I, I really don't have any way to know, but we're going this way. Hmm, see, I don't know what else we're doing today, but oh wait, done. If you want to become a farmer, you have to start with the basics easy, yep, yep, 100G, that's gonna help me. Raising animals, Robin, the local carpenter, lives north of town. In exchange for raw materials and money, she'll construct new buildings on your farm. You'll need her to build co a coop or barn so that you raise animals, build a coop. Advancement, as you gain experience, you'll discover new crafting recipes to increase profit and make life easier. A scarecrow, for example, will prevent crows from snacking on your precious crops. Reach farming level one and craft a scarecrow. Well, I don't think we're at farming level one yet, but if, as long as I continue to farm, I would hope that that would turn around. But I got a thousand bucks. I need a little bit more though. Uh, not what I wanted. It's, oh, Lewis's birthday coming up. Help wanted, need smallmouth bass to enjoy some fresh bread. I don't. I think I have that, but I'll accept it, because why not? No, wait, I always press the wrong buttons all the time. No, nope. got it. Okay, going in. No, nope. I, I can't even go in there, it's not even 9 a.m. Who am I kidding? I know we ain't working right now. So I should try going north and talking to that one guy again. Also, what is this building? I'm not sure, so maybe that'll have something for me. I really don't know. So we still got lots more to do. And we will for a while. Can I get this out there into the bubbly spot? I bet you it can if maybe I start from the bridge. You're right in the bubbly. Oh, oh, I got a hit. I got a hit. Oh, this is gonna be a good one then. I wanna be a good one. I got the treasure chest. Hold on, treasure, 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 treasure. Treasure, treasure, treasure. I'm on both of them. What are you talking about, game? Yes, I got the treasure. I got the fish. Everything's going good. We got a sunfish, yes. And some treasure. It's gonna be too cold. That wasn't as surprising as, as I was hoping, but I guess the sunfish is out here. I was all wrong about that. So, let me try to get more. If I could get, uh, or did that quest end? It did, yikes. Oh well, I'll need it eventually anyways. What was the other one though? Introduction, so we're still gonna take a while there. Uh, well then I might as well not worry about fishing right now. If I don't need to, I'll worry about it later. I think that's just my life motto at this point. Also, I gotta remember, if we ever see like worms in the ground, I think we can dig those up for stuff too. I don't see any right now though, so don't have to worry about it. I just watered the door. It's locked. Yep, not 9 a.m. yet. Ooh, okay, we got another horseradish. Got it. And we could always, you know, fish in a pond like this, that might be helpful. I have not been out this way. There ain't really too much, but it's at least relaxing. I could fish from like out here, and this is like a fun place to fish. And then after we're on fishing one of them, we should at least have enough, you know, waiting. Yep, they're already open. So I'm just gonna grab this. Come on. Come on, please, 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 maybe. Oh gosh, this is not good. Oh boy, oh boy. Why is this so difficult for me? He's so wiggly. It's it's not as easy as it looks, by the way. Like, I'm sure people might be watching who's never done this, or maybe who have done this, and I'm just all wrong. Come on, please, please, Mr. Fish. 
Let me get you. Why is he so difficult? No, no. Oh, I really don't like this gameplay mechanic. It is not something I'm a big fan of. Oh, come on. And it's just so easy to lose your progress. Oh, come on. I'm about to give up on this. To give up on this fish. Please just give up, Mr. Fish. Please. Please, please, please. Come on. Okay, okay, whatever. That is just, oh my gosh, that's frustrating. I'm gonna talk to the whatevers, whatever their name is. Hey there, Mr. and Mrs. Whatever. What do you got for me? So yeah, these guys, no, I don't wanna fish their door. Oh man, I really don't like how this misses at my left click and right click. Need something built, probably. You've met my son Sebastian, right? He lives downstairs. I have it because he doesn't come out. He's a little shy, but I'm sure he'll warm up to you if you're nice to him. I can't talk to him. He'll literally not let me. Okay, well. No. Talk. What can I do for you? Shop. Legendary Fisher from the Cat. Yeah, I, I think I remember that. Uh. Wow. She sells a lot of stuff. A lot of it's like, this is all just like doodads that I don't really need, but they're for like sprucing up. Did I just do that? I didn't. Mean to do? I'd... Well, maybe at some point I can use it decor. Upgrade house. Uh, I want to the size of your house and add a kitchen. It will cost ten thousand. Okay, so we don't need that, but good to keep in mind. <sighs> Construct farm building. So we have stuff like the coop. That's four thousand. Interesting. So at this point, I think I'm just gonna make a giant parsnip farm. I'm gonna be the parsnip juggernaut of the world. Welcome to Stardew Valley, all we're known for is our parsnips. What even is a parsnip? Who knows? I didn't even sell my parsnips yet, so I should probably do that while I have the opportunity. Make back some of the 500 G I just accidentally spent. <laughs> I'm so proud of myself. Okay, so let's go down here. And Pierre, are you open yet, you lazy dude? I just like making fun of Pierre sometimes. I'm just teasing him. All right, hello. Got it, and then got it. So I'm gonna buy a lot more with the money I just made. I guess like another 20. I can make it like maybe, even, let's make it 30. 30 of them. Cause we haven't grown the, the 20 that we bought, so this'll be helpful. That just means we gotta wait another four days, which is the tough part. I mean, I got the sunfish, I could probably try to sell that. Probably wanna sell that to the fisherman though. But I think it's good to have like one of each thing. So we'll have to wait and see. But for now, back to the farm we go. But yeah, it's, it's a very slow start to this game. That's really just how it is. But first off, before we do anything then, my main goal is farming always, so do all of that. And also this will get us a level up on our farming, which will, help, will hopefully help us get closer to one at the least. Uh, got it, no wait, got it, there we go. Okay, so I'm gonna fill this up over here. And we're just gonna water all this. It gets way easier to water things once you can make a sprinkler, but that's why I'm trying to farm right now is so that we can make a sprinkler. Maybe it'll be easier to do it horizontally instead of vertically so I can see where I'm watering. But this is gonna use up a lot of energy for sure. So, get it done now while I can. Yeah, this is actually, I should do it like this. Good, good, good. All of the parsnips. Everyone's gonna be jealous about how many parsnips I have. I'm gonna have parsnip thieves. I'm gonna have to fight them off. The crows won't even be a problem. I'll be too busy fighting the, the parsnip thieves. I mean, I feel like that must be like a legitimate worry that people are just gonna steal your crops as a farmer. Like, I mean, I guess, you know, we live in a modern day and age. You can just get a security camera. All right, so let's fill this up. Ready? Wow. And get back to it. I do wanna get rid of anything that's sort of like blocking my vision. So this tree down here is probably our next goal to get rid of. I mean, I don't have too much energy to spare, but we'll get to it. Am I stealing? No, I'm not stealing. Got it, got it, and got it. So let's go ahead and get rid of this tree because it's blocking my vision and I don't appreciate it, Mr. Tree. I think he actually did block my vision from one of the seeds, so that ain't no good. You're going down. And the wood will be helpful. I don't know if we should be trying to get the 500 wood to open up that one area, but it is getting me curious, so I think it's what we'll go for. I, mean, I probably should be making my own money, but that's what the parsnips are for now, ain't it? Okay, get rid of this, and oh, I am very low on energy, so that stump is gonna have to wait. That stump will be stumped as to why it wasn't destroyed. 
Okay, there we go. 10 out of 270. Good for me. I'm gonna have to make another chest down. So can I? I mean, I sort of feel silly by placing it here, but maybe we can make like a formation of the chest so that ends up making more sense. Um, I need 50 wood. Well, don't worry, I have more wood in the wooden chest. Why did I do that? I really, d that would be so embarrassing. Like, why did you pass on your own home? Well, I accidentally used my watering can and just collapsed. <laughs> All right, build that chest, put it here. Place it there. Got it. And then in here, we'll put fish. We'll put any ocean-related thing in there. So make this one a nice blue. Beautiful. Or blutiful. Ha ha ha. I'm so funny. All right then. Uh, might as well. <gasps> no! I'm not ready for this. Whoa! It's a fairy. What is a fairy doing? Um. Huh. Ah. We have blessed parsnips. Blessed parsnips is beautiful and an evil crow that ate my one of my other ones. So it's, it's a give and take. Yeah, level one farming. Plus one watering can proficient proficiency. Plus one hoe proficiency. New crafting recipe, the scarecrow, which I'll definitely use to scare away any more of those crows. New crafting recipe, basic fertilizer. Awesome. Our game progress has been saved, which makes me so happy. So let me scare away any of those crows now, but also 50 wood, one coal, 20 fiber. I have that. If I, uh, I got the coal, I need more fiber, and then I need more wood. So that's what we're doing today. I have no idea why the fairy blessed my crops, but look at all these bad boys. Oh, we're eating well tonight. All the parsnips you can imagine. <laughs> all right. uh. No, no, do not eat it. You better not eat our, our, our only source of income. <laughs> I'm telling you now, little me. I don't know why I can cannot pick up that one parsnip. Oh, maybe this one's. Oh, you know what? It's a special parsnip. I'll call it George. George, a special parsnip. Um, that's why we can't pick it up. So let me. No, do that. And I will put some of this stuff away now. Ya da da da. Do, do. Uh, I cannot do anything in this game very well, can I? Then why do I have that? Okay, well I definitely got something messed up. That stuff does not is supposed not supposed to be in here. I can get the acorns in here, the parsnips, the coal. Well, no. I'm definitely getting confused on where I want to put what, so I'm gonna have to organize that a bit better. I guess we'll put those things there. Get that stuff. George is indeed rad. For a second, for just like a millisecond, I already forgot who George was, and I'm like, who are you talking about? And then I, and then I got it, and then I clicked. Uh, so yeah, go here. No, 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 go to the blue chest where I have the fishing stuff. Just don't know what to do with this geode, but we'll find out eventually. La, 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 la. So I need to go ahead and build up, get up as much wood as I can with the energy that I have. Oh, I forgot, yeah, there's one par step. Mrs. George, he's a star. What is what is the description of these? A spring tuber closely related to the Karen. It has an earthy taste and is full of nutrients. Great. I'm gonna, oh, we can shake trees? Oh, hey, the more you know. Okay, so we're gonna get rid of as many trees as we can, earn up about 50 wood so that we can get awesome stuff. Now the trees don't replant themselves very often, so I feel like we need to keep on to like some acorns like we have. But the acorns are great for snacks and stuff too. If we wanted to make days last longer, we want to eat stuff, and the best way to do that is to make some worthwhile snacks. So let me go ahead and get this. We're already earning up a ton of wood, I can only imagine. Yeah, we have 30. Got it, come on. Yes. Give me that wood. I'll break that. And then hopefully soon we can get close enough to an inventory expansion, but at this point, it's getting a little more difficult, ain't it? But it's gonna get a lot more difficult before it gets any more easy. I wanna water these guys, but I have a feeling we're gonna go and buy more. I can cycle through that until we're making a fair amount of cash. So what do I wanna put in here? Actually, none of this. I need one more wood, but I should have, no, wait, yes I do. There you go, 50, yeah! Okay, so we'll put the rocks in there, and. I guess I'll put the geode in here for now. It'll be like, a, I don't know where to put it, place. 
acorns, that. No, no, I need that back. So I have the 50 wood. I need some of these, like 50 of those. And then what else do I need? Coal, 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 coal. Don't worry, I got one. I gave one to Sebastian, but I have more. So you don't have to worry. So now I can make a scarecrow. Where exactly should I put him? Probably just in the center. I feel like it would be the best spot. So if I go like this, I can make that. Yay, we got ourselves a scarecrow. Oh, is that what, that yeah, was one of the quests. So we're gonna figure that out in a moment. Journal, done. Advancement, Hunch it more gold. That's gonna be very helpful. We don't have anything new just yet. It's gonna be a while until I build a coop. I need to meet three more people sooner or later. Right, Mr. Scarecrow? Right. So let me get the rest of the parsnips, including George. And unfortunately, George, we're gonna have to sell you because we need to make more Georges. You're going to influence a whole generation of Georges. The George generation. The GG. The original Georges. I don't know. They should make a George boy band with only guys with George in it. I wish I, I really do wish it was a quicker running. Like, like you could get shoes that make you run faster. I mean, don't you get a... Ooh! He's, he's, he has to pee too. I'm just gonna assume that the little water drop means that he has to pee from, from now on. Whenever anybody, they have to pee. Oh, hi there. I forget my own voice. It's a little more raspy. I got cold. What an eyesore. Pelican Town. This is the Pelican Town Community Center, what's left of it anyway. So yeah, I guess Pelican Town is within Stardew Valley. It used to be the pride and joy of the town, always bustling with activity. Not anymore. Now just look at it, it's shameful. And these days, the young folk would rather sit in front of the TV than engage with the community. But listen to me, I sound like an old fool. Well, are you? Georgia Corporation has been hounding me to sell them the land so they can turn it into a warehouse. Falcon Town could use the money, but there's something stopping me from selling it. I guess old timers like me get attached to the relics of the past. Ah, well. If anyone else buys a Georgia Co. membership, I'm just gonna go ahead and sell it. Oh, one person? I feel like that's a little too much. Yeah. Here, let's go inside. So I think the game, like, you can actually buy a Georgia Co. membership, and it totally changes the game. But I feel like like the game's less expansive if you do that option. So it's like, why would you even do it? Like maybe there's more gameplay options to be interesting. Yes, but what is that thing? Hmm, what's this? I guess Vincent and Jazz must have been playing in here. Have they built a tent? They're very ingenuitive. This place is even more dilapidated than I remember. Oh, ah, hi, you're adorable. What? No, not you, Lewis. I mean, I guess you're adorable to somebody. Oh, he's gone. Oh, he's playing tricks on us, trying to make us look crazy. What's the matter, are you ill? No, I'm not ill, I might look like it. I'm really pale. You saw something, hmm. I wouldn't be surprised if this place is full of rats. <laughs> yeah, that's totally a rat. Ah, that's another one, it's a green dancing rat. Ah, he's, he doesn't want to be seen by Lewis. You're worrying me, Zebra. Look, I think I'm gonna go head home. I need some lunch. All right, you should make some for me, Lewis. Hey, I'll keep this place in lock from now on. Maybe you can help catch a, catch a rat if you have some extra time. Fine. Always up to me to do janitor duty. Uh, strange. I'll have to come back and explore this building further. Can I not do it now? Because this building is very important to the game. Can I just come back in? Hello? Anybody home? Oh yeah, so we can get started now. So in here, there's a lot of interesting stuff, that little yellow guy. Uh, oh, this is language I cannot read. So maybe we cannot do this now. Uh, uh, not looking like it, but I'll go on this side as well. There's another bulletin board here. Can I read this? I can't. Yeah, that's the only one that's available and I can't do anything about it. So I guess there's not much we can do there. Down south we go. Cause I need to sell stuff. At least, you know, it starts you over here, which is nice. A little less travel than you would normally expect. And it's 10. So Pierre should be open in just a moment. Cause I don't think he's open just yet. No, he's open. Oh, I just clicked right at 11. Hi Abigail, haven't talked to you in a little while. The fresh mountain air is nice on a day like this. I agree. I wonder if the frogs will make an appearance soon. Do you like frogs? Frogs are pretty cool. Hello. 
So I'm gonna sell everybody, including George. Oh, that's a lot of cash out. It was well worth it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna buy another 20, 30 of them. That fairy really helped me out. I really needed that. Thank you, wonderful fairy. Wherever you may be now. What else is going on around here? I like how we can just check out other people's mailbox. We can't do anything with it. Well, we can check it out. We could fish some more. I really don't think there's any more characters besides the one kid in his basement. I mean, this building way, way up there. Like that's a hassle to get to, but it might be worth it. I mean, really, in reality, we're just waiting around so that we can farm more stuff up. So if we waste some time in the day, is it really that big of a deal? I don't think so. Hi. My arms are really sore, but that's a sign of progress for a guy like me. Cool. I must have done a thousand push-ups yesterday. Nice. Good on you. Personal health is an important accomplishment. I honor that. So I guess I can I could go up this way. According to the map. Is the map lying? Because I feel like you couldn't go up this way, but I guess I'm wrong, because you can. But yeah, let's go up to that weird house. Maybe there's some people to meet there and that'll fill it out a little bit more. No, what did I say? Oh, I guess it, all right, it was being confusing. It was putting my head slightly off than where I actually was. So let me run down here and we will uh, see what we have to do. Cause there might be people in that house and that might fill it up a little bit more. Even if it's just one person, that'll make a huge difference. Cause we've almost met everybody. I mean, I feel like it's supposed to take a while. Once again, it's supposed to let you, you know, learn what the heck to do in this game. But I, I, I loosely know enough, you know? Got it. I mean, I didn't know how to make a chest, so how much do I do really know? No, I didn't want that. Hi! I'm happy by myself, you know. Well, thanks. I don't need new friends. Well, maybe you need a leak. This is a great gift, thank you. Finally, somebody likes me, even if it's a crazy guy who lives in a tent. Oh my, look at that. There's a lot of ores there. Oh, hello. You look like an adventurer. Hmm. Oh wow, he has an eye patch too, that's cool. Hello. I just happened to walk in here at a perfect time. I was just peering down into this old mine shaft. It's been abandoned for decades. Don't call him crazy, okay, I won't call him crazy. I mean, he comes off as a little odd, but I mean, that's fine. Just because he's so I didn't think he was crazy because he was homeless. I thought he was crazy just because of the way he talks. Still, there's probably good ore down there. But a dark place undisturbed for so long, I'm afraid ore isn't the only thing you'll find. Okay. Here, take this, you might need it. Oh, hey, look at this. Got our own little Excalibur over here, rusty sword. Well, nice to meet you. Name's Marlon, by the way. I run the Adventurers Guild right outside. I'll keep my eye on you, prove yourself, and I might think about making you a member. Okay. So I guess this is a mine, and we can go down. Ah, cool. There's, oh, this is where the health comes into play. We have health and energy. Well, this isn't something I feel like I wanna get too involved with right now, but yeah, you can get ores here, you can fight enemies, you can see we already found the way down. I'll leave the mine. And there's an elevator, and there's, a mine cart, I don't think we can ride the mine cart yet. Uh, but let's go in if we can. Adventures Guild, proven adventurers only. Well, oh well. Explore the mine. There's an old mine shaft in the mountains north of town. There could be valuable minerals inside, but Marlin hinted that it might be dangerous. Reach level five in the mines. Okay. When it comes to introductions, 25 through that, Marlin doesn't count. Or at least meeting him like that doesn't count. And oh my, this place is Bone try as well. Yeah, I guess there used to be a river here. So that is the house that we're not allowed in. Great. So yeah, there's nothing else we could do around here. I mean, if we're here, we could fish for a little bit so we don't have to travel all the way. This is fun though. I mean, I don't want to use my energy. Bird, hello. Goodbye. Max, oh, that was a max. Hopefully that helps. I mean, I don't really know what that does, if it throws it out farther or if it just increases your chances of getting good fish. I got a broken CD. Well, maybe it's a good song on there. I don't know. Let's see if we can get something that's actually a fish while fishing. That'd prove that I'm better than Willy, right? Oh, 
No. Okay, you know what? I, I think this I think this lake is polluted. I mean, that was algae. Algae is not pollution. Maybe I'm just being ignorant. What if I fish here? Will we find cool ores? That'd be fun. That didn't work. Why did that not work? I guess you can't fish here. All right. Well, never mind. I still don't know what these are. I probably might, it'll probably take me a while to figure that out. Seems like there's like a lot of random doodads. Oh, hey, it's Sebastian. Maybe I can win him over. Because I gave him a coal ass and he didn't like it. Let's see if compounds and riser spears contain sufficient levels of carbon 13, then, oh no, his name's not Sebastian. Who is Sebastian? Was anybody named Sebastian? Or am I getting names mixed up? He's Demetrius. Oh, sorry, I was pondering some data and didn't notice you there. Do you need anything? I need your friendship. Uh, would you like some algae? You seem sciencey. Maybe you'd like this. This is disgusting. I'm having a really hard time making friends. I don't know who'd like algae. Maybe I should just wait until I have nice things before I start giving stuff to people. I already talked to her today, so she isn't interesting in chatting anymore. I, I haven't talked to her today, even though she might not like me. Uh, do you know my dad, Demetrius? Yeah, I just talked to him. He's a scientist. I have a lot of fun helping him in the laboratory. That's it. Okay. Yeah, da, da. Yeah, da, 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 da. Okay, so. I guess I should just get back to farming. I mean, I haven't talked to this dude too much. What does this say? It's locked. Open 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. What does this little sign say? I don't know. Won't let me know. <laughs> That's fine. You can't know everything. Oh, there's somebody. We've talked to her, though. I could talk to her again, and it's not no big deal for now, though. I mean, of course, in this game, you can eventually, like, marry people and have kids with them, which is a pretty cool concept, but, I mean, we gotta make our own living first, now, don't we? Can't be living off of parsnips forever, or can we? We're gonna find out. How much can one zebra eat parsnips until he's totally sick of them? I'll just get all of that. But yeah, we have a bunch of parsnips now. Hopefully, the, like, I don't know how long, like how we can figure out how long the, the uh, Scarecrow's reaches, if we should make another one. It might be worth my while to. For now though, I can pull this out and I can start Tilling the soil again. Five, okay, got it. And we're good. So let me uh, fill up on this, cause I'm gonna need to fill up. And we'll get to watering. I mean, this is gonna take me a while, ain't it? <laughs> it's gonna take me a long while. So if I stand like that, every other one, I can sort of fill up everything around me. I don't, I think maybe this parsnip will grow tomorrow beyond that. They're all gonna take a couple more days, so we have a lot of work ahead of us, don't we? Get it, get it, got it, good. I definitely can't wait to get sprinklers. That'll make everything sort of automated. I think we're a while off from sprinklers though, unfortunately. I mean, I don't really know if I'm productive as I should be. It's just, it seems like parsnips have the cheapest return for our investment for right now until we have a bit more money. The extra inventory space would do us a lot, but maybe I shouldn't focus on that for right now. Hard to really say. I'm almost out of energy, so I might actually want to go and eat something, but for now I have 25 out of 70. So get that. That is two each, so I should be able to 21, 19, 17, 15, 13, 11. Oh no, 12, okay, so it's not an even amount of energy spent every time, I guess? Oh, that was a waste. Okay, I'm gonna go eat something if I can. I can't eat like that. No, don't do that. Don't water the door. What can I get in here? Nothing to eat, but I can put that stuff back, and that stuff. And then for the CD, I'll put that into the chest in a moment. I can eat this. That won't help me for too long, but it'll help me. I don't wanna eat the fish, I don't think. But these give you the same amount. Okay, they're both, okay, common ocean fish and common river, river fish. So yeah, some fish are from the river only. So I'm just gonna go ahead and eat this. Hey, can I eat this? Yes, you can. Got it, delicious. So let me make my way back down. Okay, that's good. And we're almost finished up. I know I'm feeling exhausted. I'm just trying to water as much as I can so that actually grows. Uh, 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 okay, I can't do anymore. I have one out of everything. Don't accidentally water the door and pass out. Go to bed. Yes. 
Oh boy. A little risky, I gotta say. Okay, so. No, I don't want to open. I wanted to read the TV. Weather report. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one for blah, blah, blah. It's going to rain all day tomorrow. Awesome, I don't have to water tomorrow. Fortune telling. Ah, yes, I can hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are very happy today. They will do what their best to shower everyone with good fortune. Uh, the Queen of Sauce. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe for my secret cookbook, this week's dish. Stir fry, it's a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute the greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now breathe deeply. Oh, that's good. You learned how to cook stir fry. Really, where does that show up? Campfire, gravel path. I don't know where that kind of stuff shows up. Maybe once I like get something to cook with. Oh, you know what? This is what I was thinking of. So there's a collection here. This collection doesn't expand unless you put this stuff in, or maybe that's wrong. Okay, maybe that's wrong. I thought that maybe this stuff doesn't work until you put it in the chest, but maybe I am wrong with that as well. I'm wrong with most things, so I'm not too surprised. We got some achievements too, cool. 100% playthrough, here we go. And we got some mail and some of the radishes grown. My sources tell me you've been poking around inside the old community center. Why don't you pay me a visit? My chambers are west of the forest lake in the stone tower. I may have information concerning your rat problem. M. Rasmodius Wizard. Okay, we got a wizard to talk to? Meet the wizard. Receive the letter from the local wizard. He claims to have information regarding the old community center. Enter the wizard's tower. So I wasted my time earlier, but hey. That's fine. So there you go, let's get that. So I do want to spend my time watering today because I won't have to spend tomorrow doing it. So that'll be great. So I'll get started with that now. We'll sell our three radishes, or radishai. I don't know. But uh, that'll be helpful. And then we'll probably be finished up for today playing Stardew Valley in the next couple minutes. But it's been fun so far getting started playing for two hours right in one go. There we go. I want to fill up as much of this as I possibly can. Hold on. Sorry, my mouse was freaking out on me there. Don't know what was happening. But yeah, you run out of water really quickly. So getting more levels and farming, like I don't know what exactly gives you farming experience. If it's just a whole act of it, placing crops, maybe not until you finally get the crops out of the ground. But whatever it is, we need to keep doing it so we can get sprinklers, because they are going to be the big step in helping us get more stuff. So I'm out of water, get more. Simple answer, simple answer. But yeah, we'll have to buy more parsnip to fill up those spots. But this will be good, because I just don't have to worry about it tomorrow. Which will be great. But we're, we're slowly making our way through spring. They give you a lot of time. Because they give you like, what, like a full 30 days. It's like a full month calendar. Which is pretty cool. Like, I mean, like I've said before, we play a very similar game called Cattails. And it's sort of like Stardew Valley, but it's like a lot quicker in form. You know, each... Season is only 10 days long. Things sort of move a little bit quickly. It's sort of like a smaller packed game. So it's nice to also play this and it be a little bit slower paced. All right, so let me get that. It's a dandelion I can happily sell. I mean, eventually I'm supposed to, like I said, drop all items off at the town hall. And that'll be helpful. Because that'll just make us more progress and unlock more things. But for now, I don't really know if there's anything I can do about that. Maybe we can get some stuff here, and you know, more grass, why not? It's not even my grass. A little frog popped out of it, I sort of feel bad. Get rid of the frog's little habitat. But I got mixed seeds for it. Even if it's just one, that might be a plant that's well worth it. I forgot to do something with this. Can I just place it down? You know what? There you go. I'm sure we'll run into more CDs soon. If I need to somehow get a broken CD. Who knows? But for now, hello, can I do anything in here yet? I probably can't, I should stop trying, but I wanna try one more time. Yeah, I have no clue. But I'll find out eventually. Maybe I have to wait a season, maybe just more important things in the game have to happen. Maybe I gotta get other quests done first. But there's still plenty to do in this game, as you can obviously see. There's a lot, way too much sometimes. But for now, ooh, there's another mission, which is good, because mine totally timed out. Didn't get any any of them done. I have a carving for a dandelion. Please bring one for me, one by me, by for me, Pam. That would be good. 
I have one of those in my inventory right now. So, Pam lives in her trailer home. Oh, there's old man. Uh, hey Pam, got a dandelion for you. Give you. Hello Zebra, saw you notice, saw the notice I posted. I really appreciate it. Here's your payment as promised. Sweet. Uh, delivering. Got it. Cool. And she was pleased, which is the most important thing. Building friendships with somebody for once in this game. Are you friends with Gus? He's a pretty good guy. Gus, maybe? I don't remember. But, uh, yeah, I guess that's about where we're finished with the problem. Maybe we'll play a tiny bit more. I don't know, because we need to save at some point. Maybe we'll just skip a day. It's nice to be so close to the ocean. The sound of the s sea makes it makes going to sleep a lot easier. Okay, see you, lady. I think I'll sell some stuff. Maybe we'll just call it like an early day. That way I can actually save the game because I definitely need to head out in a moment. Uh, didn't think about that, did I? It's Bomber Zebra, yeah, it's me. What is what is old man doing rolling around in your house? I, mean, I guess whatever he wants. I'm not gonna tell him though. It scares me. There we go. We're at 704. Once more of these parsnips grow, it's gonna be great. I'm gonna be so happy. We've talked to you for sure, but I'll talk to you again. Hello, hello. Uh, I'm taking a break from house chores today. Well, have fun with that. I'm taking the day off, I, I I got that. Wait, 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 there's more? If I don't spend any time outside, I'll go crazy. Plus, I don't want my legs to turn soft. Okay. <laughs> well, I hope your legs don't go soft either because that seems like it would be a serious metal condi medical condition and there's only one doctor in town, so if he's busy, you're out of luck. So yeah, we'll plant these three parsnips, we'll mix the seeds, and then we'll just call it an early day. You know, just one of the, a me day. A day I take to just sleep the entire thing away. So put that there, these here and here, and then finally, I'll hoe the ground here, and got it. So water this if I can, and then water those three. Hi, Scarecrow. I like how the Scarecrow has like a very real looking face at times. It's sort of a little creepy. Uh, I haven't encountered any crows yet. Oh really, so it tells you. Well. Now I know, it hasn't. But, um, we should be good with that. I'm gonna go to bed, I'll be finished up with Stardew Valley for today. It's been a lot of fun streaming it, getting started with the game. Like I said, if you wanna see this on YouTube, level two foraging, awesome. It's gonna take a little while, just because I, you know, have other stuff I have to upload, but it'll be there eventually, so just let me know if you want me to stream more Stardew Valley, if you guys are interested, that's what I gotta hear. Either way, level up, level two foraging, plus one axe proficiency, new cookie recipe, survival burger. That sounds delicious. Mm-hmm. <laughs>